Hello, I'm Kim Staunton. I grew up in Washington, D.C. When you got to the ninth grade, you had to uh, select an elective. You either chose music or you chose visual arts or you chose drama. I didn't think I could sing at the time. Um, found out I could carry a note, but I didn't know that in ninth grade. I knew I was not a visual artist and I thought, ah, I'm stuck with drama. Ended up being a real good place to be stuck. <laughs> I had a great, great teacher that embraced me, and she just loved what I did as an actor and um, in that class, and you know, really at that time just said, you know, kid, you need to stick with this. And so thanks to, to, to my ninth grade drama teacher, Mrs. McCorkle. Well, I, I was fortunate enough, I guess it was all in the timing. Um, in Washington, they opened a new art school my graduating class was the first graduating class of Ellington School of the Arts. I got into Juilliard and uh, spent four years there. And then, of course, if you do that, of course, you're going to want to make a profession of it. And I've been able to do that for the past 30 years. So. Yes, you have. I'm very grateful for that. I'm like, that's what my friends and I, we spend these moments going, we're still here. <laughs> you know. I first came to Denver, I want to say 13 years ago. I think it was like 2000, 2001 season. The dear, beloved, late. See, I, you know, he's been gone three years, but I still, I still miss him terribly. Israel Hicks uh, brought me here. Israel was my high school. He, he was the principal of that school, of Ellington School of the Arts, my final year. Israel. Um, was a part of my beginning in launching me. However, he didn't think to hire me <laughs> in a show until a lot of years later, and it happened to be 2000, 2001 season here at DCTC. It was called Pork Pie, a mythic jazz fable by Michael Janay. Lynn Redgrave, she's not with us anymore, <laughs> but boy, would I have loved to have, to have had an opportunity to be a scene partner. I was an inaugural La Fontaine Fellow at Ten Chimneys Foundation, and uh, Lynn was my master teacher. This was the um, summer before she transitioned in March. She died about six months later. But we had another collaborative art love affair, if you will. <laughs> I, this might be weird, but being a mom, being a mom is like the most amazing thing in my life. My boys are my heartstrings. And what's interesting is they were little guys when I first started coming here. Now they're these grown men. And I'm this nest mom now. <laughs> you know? I'm like, oh, child, how do you let go? You know, how do you do that? Uh, and then to just become these wonderful human beings. They're not just my sons now, they're these just great people that I genuinely enjoy getting to know and it, on a whole nother level now. Implementing more kindness. Kindness, I think, is such a, it, it, it's a gift. It's a gift. And when people can uh, share it and receive it, there's nothing like it. And I just think we could stand more of it. We're all human, <laughs> really, very much the same.